Thank you for joining us on a GCN indoor training session. Ahead of us, we've got 35 minutes of micro intervals. Now, you might think a micro interval sounds like it's an easy interval, but it's not because micro intervals are followed by micro recovery. And this means we are going to get a tough session. But fear not, the first thing we're doing is warming up. We've got seven minutes of warming up. Just gradually ease those legs into the session. Pedal slowly. We want nice, easy gears to start with. But in between that seven minutes, we're gonna just do some little intervals of high cadence, just to try and get our cardiovascular system working a little bit harder so that when we start the hard work, we're not gonna be coming at it too uncomfortably. Right then, so what are these micro intervals all about then? Well, we are doing 20 seconds over threshold. So 20 seconds harder than you could sustain for a long period of time, like an hour. And then 40 seconds just below that. So like I said, it is not recovery. It is very much still pressing on the pedals. And so because of that, we're gonna do five lots of 20 with those 40 seconds in the middle. And then we get a little bit of downtime. We get four minutes of recovery. Then we're gonna repeat that three times. So for the mass geniuses out there, that's 15 minutes of micro intervals. Right then, I mentioned that we're gonna be doing a little bit of high cadence work in this warm up. So I want you to start thinking about your gear choice because in 20 seconds, I want you to increase your cadence up to 120 and then your effort should go up accordingly as well. So it might hurt your legs a little bit, but nothing to tax you and it is short. So just a little burst. Your first micro interval, if you like. Okay, ready everyone? In two, one, go. 120 RPM, 15 seconds. Nice light gears, but turn those pedals quickly. Fast feet. There we go, right, that was it. All done and dusted, nothing too difficult, nothing too strenuous to start with. We've now got another minute, pedaling slowly, possibly pressing on a little bit harder than we did just a minute ago, because we want to slowly build up the effort until we're in a position where we are ready to go full gas. And I mean full gas. Right then, 30 seconds to the next bit of high cadence. Then we'll talk about exactly why you're doing micro intervals. What's the point of doing this hard work? Well, believe me, they are really, really effective. Because we're working around threshold, it's brilliant for developing your general speed on the bike, your ability up climbs, your ability to hold on to the fast group and your local club ride or in a sporty. Right, more of that in a minute. I want you to get ready for 120 RPM again for 15 seconds. In two, one, go. Just change it down a gear or two. Increase the resistance as well. And ease off in now. Whoa. Hopefully you can start feeling your heart, heart rate lifting. If you've got a heart rate monitor, you should be able to see it. And also your breathing rate as well should be going up now. Your legs shouldn't be hurting. We're not putting any stress through the muscles. It's just that cardiovascular system. Alrighty. So we've got 35 seconds till the next one. And then we've got a little bit more downtime just to prepare ourselves mentally for those big efforts to come. Make sure you keep drinking early. If you're anything like me, you'll start getting a sweat on early doors. You don't want to dehydrate, maybe not for now, but for later on when you get off your bike. You don't want to feel ruined for the rest of the day or when you wake up in the morning. Right then, last one of 120 RPM. Coming up in now, go. Drop it down through the gears, lift the cadence. Nice legs, nearly done, and back it off, back it off. Right, we've got two minutes now before we start our micro intervals. Now, so I said they're really good 
for building your overall speed on the bike. You'll see your average speed on rides go up, your average speed on climbs, but it's more than that as well. Bike riding is really dynamic. It's about responding to changes of pace, to changes in gradient. You need the ability to go hard, generate lactic acid, and then recover from it. Get your body used to clearing lactate from your legs, generally making yourself accustomed to that really hard work that we all have to do, whether we ride our bikes for racing, or on group rides or sportives, whether you've got a big target in mind, like a Grand Fondo, like the Maratona, it all counts, it all counts. Right then, how are you guys feeling? You warmed up? Good stuff. Now would probably be a good time to introduce the crew today, who you're riding with. We've got Juliet and Matt in the front row. Then we've got Lindsay, Charlotte, and then Tom. He's sticking the half wheel on him in the middle there. Which seems pretty rude to me, but there he is. Those guys know how to suffer. Hopefully, our pain is gonna inspire you to push on as well. Because what this session is gonna do is hurt. It is gonna hurt, but that's kind of what the whole point of indoor training is all about. You do the hard work in a controlled way and you make it count. Right then, 30 seconds to go. Let's talk about that first effort. I don't want people sprinting into this first micro interval. It might only be 20 seconds long, but remember, you're not getting any recovery as such. So press on the pedals. It should feel full gas, but then we need to only change up one gear, one gear smaller, keep your cadence the same, and that is gonna be your recovery, okay? Right then, think about the gear choice. We're going there, in two, one. Right, let's go. Micro intervals, 20 seconds on now. That's right. Hear the whir of the turbos kicking in. 110 RPM, if you can. And then, ready to click into one gear easier for 40 seconds, and go. Like I said, this is not recovery. You're still pressing on the pedals. If you've got a power meter, you're looking at 90% of FTP. So, if you didn't have the micro burst in there, you would be able to sustain it for an hour. But, as it is, we're doing five minutes because time is gonna go fast. I can assure you of that. Just 10 seconds to go before we kick on again. Change it into one gear harder. Increase your cadence to 110. Ready, and go. That's right, looking good everyone. Looking very smooth. Press on the pedals. Fast feet. And get ready to change it to one gear easier. And go. Don't let off the pedals though. Don't let off the pedals. This is not recovery. He's a 2040s legendary training tool over the years. If anything is gonna get you fit, 2040s are certainly gonna do it. Whether you're a time trialer or you're partial to a Grand Fondo or an out and out racer. Okay, you ready for your next micro interval? It's coming up. Get rid of your gears in two, one, go. Lift that cadence. Fast feet, fast feet. Nearly ready to change into an easier gear. In two, one. Okay, one gear easier. Let your canes drop. Now this might feel really familiar kind of effort if you're used to riding in a chain gang or a pace line. That feeling of hitting the front, having to increase your power output to keep the speed of the group high before backing off when someone else takes your place. It replicates that perfectly. Okay. It's a small group. You turn on the front, it's nearly up. You ready? It's your turn again. Five, 
four, three, two, one, go. Micro interval. Keep the pace high. Think of everyone sat on your wheel, relying on you. Someone's coming around you in a second, and you can ease off. Now, that's right. Whew. Ease off. We're not quite done yet, though. It's ain't recovery. Keep pressing on those pedals. Hopefully your breathing rate is just up there with mine now. So don't make me sound too bad. Okay. Right, up it again. Yeah, that's right. We're not finished with the micro intervals. Give it some gas. Don't let your breakaway companions down. They're relying on you to keep the pace. 40k an hour, 50k an hour. And easy, easy. Keep the power on. Try and bring your breathing down as fast as you can, even though we're still operating at super high intensity. It's nearly time for proper recovery. Nearly there. Don't know about you guys, but I need one for sure. Okay, good work. That was interval number one, done and dusted. Just take the pressure off the pedals, keep those legs spinning. Nice and easy. We've got four minutes to try and get our breathing down, our heart rate down, to make the most of it. It doesn't matter how hard you press on now, because the hard work is what counts. We want to be as recovered as possible. So, take a drink, get out of the saddle like Matt is. Let's just take a bit of pressure off your legs. How's everyone doing? First set of micro intervals done. What's the score? All good? All good? How is the effort level? How are you finding going from 120 to 80? Yeah? All good. If this is your first time doing micro intervals, it may take you the whole of that set to get a feel for how hard you can go. If you go too hard in your 20 seconds, then you're gonna have to go too easy on the 40s. So if you think about it, like on a graph, it's gonna be no massive spikes in power or speed, but you are gonna get areas where you press on a little bit more and then ease off a little bit more. Like a wavy line as opposed to a jagged line. If you can picture that whilst you're in oxygen debt and your heart rate is at 170 beats per minute. Don't know about you guys, I need every second of this four minutes so I can hit the next set hard. The beautiful thing about intervals is that you work harder than you probably will normally do in real life. So when you're on that pace line, in that chain gang, you'll rarely have to work this hard which is why you do short bouts of super hard work and then recover and hit it again. You want to get your body ready for these super high powers and the consistent intensities. Make sure you keep drinking. We've still got two sets to go. Although, that's only five, 10 rather, 10 micro intervals. So, if you break it down like that, you can tick them off one by one. Okay, we want to start getting ready. 
We've got a minute till the next one, but we don't want to go into it cold. So maybe just change into a harder gear. Just get your work rate back up. Just so it doesn't come as too much of a shock when we launch in with a, a big effort for 20 seconds. If you, like me, dropped onto the little chain ring for your recovery, stick it back in the big ring now. It's time to psych yourself up. We've got another five minutes. Hard work coming up. Think about how much this is going to benefit you when you get out on the road. Can't stress that enough. This is good pain. Are you ready for it? It's coming up in three, two, one. Hit it, 20 seconds. 20 seconds at 120% of FTP. It's a big effort. It's not quite max. We're not sprinting but we're pressing on and then get ready to drop it into one gear easier and go 40 seconds still on let your cadence drop 90 reps per minute ah, I can feel the effort already okay everyone I hate to break it to you, but we're going to be going hard again in 10 seconds. Get ready for it. 20 seconds, hard riding, fast pedaling. In three, two, one, go. That's right. Keep it going, fast feet. Good stuff. Okay, one gear easier. Keep the power on, keep the power on. How's everyone doing? Looking concentrated. It's a complicated session, this one. So listen carefully, otherwise you'll get lost in a world of micro-interval pain. Ready? Some more coming up. Get ready to change down into that harder gear. Five, four, three, two, one, up. Raise your cadence, pedal a bit quicker. That's right, dig in. Come on. And we're nearly done. One gear easier. Now, that's right. We're off the front of the pace line, trying to recover in the wheels. We still got to ride hard. We're still doing 50k an hour. But we're not on the front. Think about next time you're in a breakaway, or you're in a group at a sporty, how much pain you can dish out. How much stronger are you going to be? Ready? Lift the tempo again. It's time to hit the front in five, four, three, two, one. That's right, on the front. Keep the pace high. Don't let your breakaway companions down. You might get caught. All this hard work will be for nothing if the bunch catches up with you. And we're off the front. Now, good work. Keep the pace high. You should be breathing really hard. Heart rate through the roof. But concentrate on trying to recover as much as possible, even though we're still getting the power down. We're racing through them though. It'll be over before you know it. So keep working hard. We're about to hit the front again. And three, 
two, one, ready, go, one gear harder. That's great work, keep those feet fast. Brilliant, really good. And easy now. You can see who rides a fixed gear bike out of this lot. Nice cadence. Certainly not me, that's for sure. Right, not long to go before recovery time. So keep working hard. Keep working. Embrace that pain. It's gonna make you better. It's gonna make you stronger. It's gonna make you faster. All right, easy, recovery. Great work, everyone. That's two sets done. We've got 10 micro intervals under our belt. We've got 10 minutes of hard work under our belt. Try not to stop pedaling. Try and keep those legs turning. Although, I don't blame you if you do, because they should be sore right now. Burning legs. That expression tells me they're sore, Matt. They're sore, good work. Good work. Right, three and a half minutes to go. So make it count, this recovery. Take a drink, try and cool down. Spin those legs, easy gears. Right, for this next set, we're not on the flat anymore. We're not in a pace line. We've just hit a climb, and it's the climb to the finish line. So each of these micro bursts is an acceleration. You're following a rival. Maybe it's Alberto Contador. Maybe it's a person from your local club. And you're gonna follow them and match their accelerations and then sit on their wheel and you won't come round them just below threshold because we wanna be first across the line. So we're gonna work hard, but we're gonna ride intelligently. It's the aim of the game. So don't go all out in those first few micro bursts thinking that you've only got five left to do. I want to measure your effort so that when you hit those last ones, you are firing on all cylinders and they feel good. I want to hit the warm down, pumped, psyched, feeling good, feeling like you can't wait to get back on your bike and do more. That's what it should be about. Let's say you want to do more. Another session, you could. Why not back it up? Do another session if you've got the time and the will and the energy. Okay, how's everyone feeling? You got another set in you? You got, you got the final climb in you? Yes. We're gonna mark Alberto Contador. We're gonna mark uh, your rival from your local club. Or the person that sits on your wheel when you're commuting to work. There's always one. We're gonna ride smart, pace ourselves for this last block. Okay. Like before, if you've dropped into the little ring for this recovery, maybe stick it back in the big ring. Just increase your work rate slightly so that your legs are a bit more accustomed to hard work when we hit these last micro intervals. can't stress enough how many top riders will have this training session in their back pocket, in their arsenal, to pull out when they need to get an extra half a percent. This is, this is form, good form condensed into one brutal session. 2040s, remember. Do 2040s, you can wear that badge with pride. This is a tough one. Okay, everyone, we're nearly ready for our last set. Alberto Contador is just about to make an attack. Matt knows what that feels like. Matt knows, Matt's ready. 
over threshold, 20 seconds, starting now. That's right, lift the pace, lift your cadence, stay in the saddle. We're not gonna come round him, we're not gonna give him a turn. Just mark him, keep him in your sights. Ready, he's gonna back off, I can sense it. Easy gear, now, right. You're still climbing, you're still hurting. Still close to threshold, but you've just marked the first attack. Not long to go now. Keep pedaling. This gradient is unrelenting. It hurts. It really hurts. Okay, I can sense another attack coming. It's your arch nemesis this time. They're gonna hit you in three, two, one. Go, follow the wheel. Lift your tempo. That's right, lift your cadence. You can see they're dying. They've not got much more in them. Ready to back it off. Back below threshold, go. Easy, easy. Ah, don't know about you. I'm struggling to hold the wheel, even on the 40s now. It should be hurting really badly. But the end is in sight. We've got three more. Two more attacks and one push for victory. Or for your personal best. Okay, there's another attack coming. This time the person who's been sat on your wheel, riding to work. They're about to hit you. Get on their wheel. Go. That's right. Just ease up to them gradually. Try and not let them know how much it hurts. We're playing cat and mouse as well as training. And ready to knock it off one gear. Go. everyone keep working hard the climb is nearly over I can see the top have you got a last push in you dig deep get the work done okay this is the last attack we're gonna follow go hold that wheel it's Contador again Contador's gone Matt are you on him Matt's on him Let's follow Matt. Dig in. Ah. The end is in sight. Both the session and my legs. Knock it back. We got one last bit. 40 seconds before our race winning attack. Our lunge for the line. And then a brutal 40 seconds to get there for our recovery. Okay, get ready. This is for that PB. This is what's gonna make it count. The last micro interval, coming up. Don't lift the tempo, just keep it the same. Keep it the same, ready? Three, two, one, go. One, get harder. That's right, great work. Keep that cadence high. Okay, ready? We're almost on our own. It's daylight. That's it. Ah, 40 seconds. That's all you gotta do. 40 seconds. Everyone's training in your wake. You're feeling good. You're feeling strong, despite the pain. 20 seconds to go. Come on, everyone. We're nearly there. Lines in sight. Seven, five, 
Keep going, push in. Push, push, push. And you're over. You're done. That is three sets of 2040s. A brutal session in anyone's book. Well done. That was absolutely cracking effort. I hope you're in bits now. I'm in bits. Are you like in bits? Everyone's in bits. But you get off your bike, you have a drink, have some food. Before long, you're going to be stronger than you were before. And that is what counts. That's what training's all about. Just make sure you get adequate recovery. Otherwise, you'll be doing these sessions and they won't have the same positive effect. So limit them because they are tough. It's the icing on the cake. Well done, everyone. Just a couple of minutes of easy spinning. Try and let your heart rate come down as much as possible. I don't think mine is. I'm pretty warm. But just keep those legs turning over. If you need to get off and stretch, just stick it in the big ring again. Pedal really slowly. Just rest those legs. Your glutes will have worked super hard on this. 15 minutes of micro intervals in the saddle. Might be unnatural for a lot of us, but it's gonna be those days where it pays off in spades. This is probably going to be the longest minute of your lives, even longer than those micro intervals, but try and resist the temptation to get off your bike too soon. It's a short warm down, but it's an important warm down, nevertheless. You don't want to get off your bike and then stumble down the stairs because your legs are like jelly. We've all been there. We've all been there. We're nearly done and dusted. I hope that when you next enter a race, we were riding along in the front group of that sportif. And you're thinking about all this hard work, and how much easier it is to come through and do your turn on the front at 40k an hour, 45k an hour. Sessions like this are what counts. Intense hard work in just 35 minutes. Can't argue with that. Well done everyone, that was very cool indeed. Well, if you are ready for more indoor training sessions, first thing you should do is subscribe to GCN. We've got a whole stack already on the channel and plenty more to come. So to do that, to subscribe, just click on the globe. It's completely free. And then if you're wanting ideas for your next session after you've recovered, then click just down there and you can follow Matt's hill climb session, a brutal 25 minutes. Or if you fancy a bit of real world stimulation, click just down there and you can follow in real time as I ride the Paso Jao in the Alta Badia region of the Dolomites, getting ready for the Maratona de los Dolomites.